Axe spray. I remember this stuff. <laughs> Whoa. I just, uh, what was that? This is a little sexual. I don't know if you guys are picking up on that or if it's just me, but I actually think it's a little bit. This is this commercial a little sexually charged. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. A little while ago, we watched some 2000s nostalgia commercials. Had a lot of fun with that, and you guys seem to like it as well, so I figured we should watch some more. Let's just jump right into it. Dude, it's Pokemon, we're starting with Pokemon. These balls are very blurry. I don't think I really played any of these uh, <laughs> Pokemon games in the 2000s. Was Pokemon black and white too? That was, just, that was the 2000s, right? Wrong! I, re I did really like that one. Hi, Billy Mays here for the Big City Slider it's Station. Billy! The fast and easy yeah! way to fresh and cook delicious. Rest in peace, by the way, to Billy Mays. It's a little creepy watching this now. <laughs> Big City Slider Station, the fast and easy way to press and cook delicious sliders. Did he cook that meat in a literal split second? It's raw and then it's cooked with perfect lines. Use dinner rolls, potato rolls, and a bun. I love how he emphasizes with, with you can use whatever bun you want with this. With regular burgers, did you cook on a regular stove or a girl? Shit, <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Just, just good luck trying to use whatever bun you want. But with this one thing here that I saw right now, you can use any bun. Like, it's not, that's not a feature. That's not a feature to this. I think the trick to being a 2000s uh, TV salesman is you always talk at the same level no matter what you're saying you're always at the same level of volume this is really not all that different than how i speak in my normal videos so i'm actually kind of burning myself right now damn just scoop press and cook no again they cook it like one second beef chucker sirloin just scoop. the slider station is the ultimate burger press to load the grill in no time and watch this <laughs> Get this, you can use this to actually use uh, the grill. Perfect for onions, pickles, and mushrooms. A $20 all right, Billy. value all right, Billy, come on. Just pay separate shipping and handling. You get it all. It's all for just $19.99. For only three easy payments of $19.99, my stupid burger slider thing can stay in the drawer in your kitchen for years unused. Hi, Billy Mays here from the Big City Slider Station. The fast and easy. Hey. The fast and easy way to press and cook delicious sliders. Those restaurant mini burgers everyone loves. No more squishing and squashing or flipping and flopping. With the slider station, just scoop, press, and cook right on your stove. The unique design cooks both sides at once, so you never have to flip them. And in just two minutes, you'll have five mouth-watering sliders. Use dinner rolls, potato rolls, and a bun. You can double or triple stack them and watch your family at Attack them. Oh no. Order, Order right now. Order, Order right now. now. Order, Order right now. Order right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what uh, what's happening? Nothing's happening. It <laughs> just cut the oh, up, down, down. Up. Oh. Didn't we already react Check to this, this one? Out. We already seen this. Here's some inside. I thought they were about to make out. <laughs> they just started the commercials with two ladies leaning in. Like, whoa, slow down. They weren't making out. They were just telling each other about the new Betty Crocker. Have you heard about the new Betty Crocker cake thing? Holy shit. Let's make out. These are the kind of desserts you'll find in the finest restaurants. Ice cream cakes, Italian filled torts, even baked Alaska. <laughs> You can only get these cakes with a Betty Crocker. You won't find cakes that are burning and you found fire. You won't find that at your local CC's Pizza. Make them Betty Crocker bacon filled cakes. Bacon filled cakes? I miss these old blue walls with uh, white and yellow numbers all over it. This is weirdly nostalgic. Whoa! Moon shoes! Moon shoes! Uh, I think I'm too out of shape for moon shoes. I want the cuisine! And there is zero chance in hell that that is any good. I'm sorry. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. What is happening? Oh, it's a show. Y yakety yak? Okay, in the comment section right now, have literally any of you seen e or even heard of yakety yak before? Am I just crazy? Back to the ultimate dare to drop challenge. By 
Pirate versus Ninja. My money's on Ninja, easy. I remember those sour uh, drop candy things. I don't think I ever had that specific brand, but I had like Warhead brand spray and drops. It was a big thing when I was uh, like er my, in my early teens. My mom actually had to stop buying me that stuff and take it away from me because I was actually addicted to it. And I just wouldn't stop spraying until literally my taste buds were gone. And uh, then I still wanted more. <laughs> it was addicting, all right? Even from an early age, I was addicted to the pain, okay? I just want to feel something. Dude, I wonder if the Sour Patch Kid mascara is sour. Where did I put it? Oh my god, Axe Spray. I remember this stuff. <laughs> Whoa. Is that... <laughs> Am I the only one that had a very weird reaction to this guy just all of a sudden having a chocolate face? That actually kind of freaked me out for a second. <laughs> I remember walking into the high school boys locker room and it just smelled like body odor and axe body spray. Like a 50-50 combination of the two. I actually think I remember this commercial. Yeah, I do. Oh my god. Oh, that was not quite as dirty as I thought it was, but it was still pretty. <laughs> this is a little sexual. I don't I don't know if you guys are picking up on that or if it's just me, but I actually think it's a little bit, this, this commercial is a little sexually charged. I'm pretty perceptive when it comes to that kind of thing. As Irresistible as Chocolate, New Axe, Dark Temptation. Okay, forget whether the Sour Patch Kid lip gloss tastes sour. Does the Axe Chocolate Body Spray taste like chocolate? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Sexual harassment. <laughs> ah, again! It was retaliation. It's fair. I used to love Cinnamon Toast Crunch when I was a kid. I don't think I've had it in forever, though. Uh. Hello, delicious. Come on, talk to me. Say something. Cinnamon, get Will me Cinnamon out. find Apple? You can find out only at Applejacks.com. Don't bother going. I checked back in the day. He did not rescue Apple. It was a little brutal, actually. I'm surprised they put it on their official website. Dude, SpaghettiOs! I used to love SpaghettiOs! I remember eating SpaghettiOs until I was too old to probably be eating SpaghettiOs. I used to always get the one with the meatballs in it, but I eventually did outgrow the meatball one. Didn't outgrow SpaghettiOs, but I remember being like 16 years old or something like that, <laughs> eating SpaghettiOs and being like, these meatballs... They don't seem like real meat. I'm just gonna get the regular kind from now on. I I'm finally grown up while I watched Arthur. It's lots and lots of jets and planes. Holy <laughs> crap! This is more planes than I ever thought I would need to see. I never thought I could buy one set of DVDs that have this many planes on to, on to the, the disc. This is actually slightly more jets and planes than I even wanted to see. Monster Truck Mashup. An all day truck show celebrating truckers in the glory days of big rigs. Low cut t shirts, trucks, and booba in one event? Sorry, I can't go. I uh, already have a ticket to the Cars for Kids concert. Seven, seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. No. Donate online at carsforkids.com. That's cars with a K. Pickup is quick and easy. You'll get a vacation voucher and maximum. My favorite part of the commercial is when they start telling me about Cars for Kids in the middle of the song. It's like one of those videos that's like what they were actually playing and it shows like Peter Griffin like playing a trombone or something. I don't think those kids were actually playing anything. I know some of you guys didn't notice. I don't think they are that. they're actual musicians. I hate to break the fourth wall. What shaky, chilly, and makes you silly? <laughs> Diabetes. Slushy magic! It's less delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I love that tagline. It's Slush delicious. I wonder if they have that copyrighted. I'm gonna steal it. Welcome to the Peeps channel. It's slush delicious. The secrets in the slushy magic cubes that use snowflake science when you shake them up. Okay, here I was sitting wondering how this thing actually made it, but okay, they, they finally answered my question. It's actually uh, it's science. It's a uh, snowflake science. I don't know if you've heard of it, but uh, I actually have a degree in snowflake science, so don't uh, try to try to oh. <laughs> It's super coolin' that'll have you droolin'! Brain freeze! <laughs> <laughs> that was the coolest <laughs> kid I've ever seen. <laughs> These infomercials are insane, like how long they are. Like how many things are you gonna tell me about this slushy cup? I'm done hearing about it! Do they still have slushy magic? I'm gonna check. Try slushymagic.com. 
Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't think I need to. Uh, I think we're good. Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. I remember this guy. This is the guy that kind of took over after Billy Mays, if I recall. There's one thing very specifically that I remember from this commercial. I'm pretty sure it's this one. <laughs> we'll wait and see if it is. This tuna looks boring. Stop having a boring tuna. Stop having a boring life. <laughs> Stop having a boring tuna. Stop having a boring life. Guys, you really need to try spice up your life with a little bit of sp uh, tuna with some vegetables in it, okay? Holy crap, guys. And then what you can do, you can mix things together. You can add the ham. You don't have time to make breakfast. You're gonna have an exciting life now. Breakfast to go. Breakfast to go with this pile of eggs. This is a pile of eggs and ham. Breakfast to go. All right, kids, make sure you pick up your pile of eggs. Your little tiny pile of eggs before you head off to school. Just like, I'm imagining the kids trying to like, <laughs> just pick up this pile of ham, eggs, and just run out the door, spilling it everywhere. You're gonna love my nuts. Ah! There it is! The words of the day! You're gonna love my nuts! I guarantee it. I knew it! I that the split second this commercial like came on, I'm like, oh, you're gonna love my nuts! You're gonna love my nuts! I remember! You're gonna love my nuts is not something I really feel like you would get away with saying in an infomercial on TV anymore. Although, to be fair, I haven't really watched any infomercials on TV in a while, so maybe, maybe I'm wrong. It's worthless. Forget about it. Now, take the slap chop. This other thing that does exactly the same thing as my product is worthless! What, you can't even open it up? Can't even open it up! I wonder how many takes they did to get the shot into the sink, though. That was pretty impressive. Life's hard enough as it is. You don't want to cry anymore. You don't want to cry anymore. Buy slap chop. Just bang it. Just bang it. With a car. Slap chop sells for $19.95, but if you call now, Within the next 20 minutes, because you know we can't do this all day, you're gonna get the Grady absolutely free. Just pay for processing. Here's how to order. The Grady? Wait, I wanted to get I wanted to get the Grady. How do I order? My man really cut me off before I could order. What is this garbage? Oh god, I remember this. Stop looking at me. I can't stop smoking pot anytime I want. Okay, how about right now? Mmm. Uh, next week is better. You disappoint me. <laughs> And he walks away, dude. <laughs> Comment section, you disappoint me. I could like the video and subscribe whenever I want it. How about right now? <laughs> Never mind, don't put that in. <laughs>